Welcome back everyone to the Pop Cult Lair. I'm here to bring you one of my classic favorite villains, the Mad Hatter from the Batman animated series made by DC Collectibles. Now let's take a look at Jarvis Tetch, the Mad Hatter. I really love this animated version of him. It's really cool, really sleek design, very classic 30s look to him. I love his long trench coat. Um, I really like how they made this coat rubber and it's really neat. Um, his little bow tie is also rubber. His collar is sculpted so that is not rubber. His head is movable which is really nice. Uh, he can look down more than he can look up. So that's as far as he can go looking up but he can look down pretty far. I like how they really kept the detail, just like from the animated series, sculpted by Gentle Giant Studios, but designed by Bruce Timm. I really like Bruce Timm's take on all of the Batman characters, which I really fell in love with from my childhood. This is a really cool accessory that they gave him. It looks like from the Mad as a Hatter episode when he's trying to kill Batman. So that's really neat. He's not very poseable. Um, the trench coat kind of holds back from his feet movement and which is a big issue because I cannot get him to stand properly. Uh, his tiny little feet are pretty hard to keep him standing. I really like that rockabelly look though. But yeah, this character is really top heavy. So it's really easy to knock him down. All his posability is in his arms. So let's take a look at that. When you do get this hand, it's really, really tight and you can't really fit anything. So I put his hand into warm water to kind of loosen it up uh, so it kind of stretched out kind of took a little bit of the paint off but that's okay because I want I want him to be holding that axe I changed hands already he comes with a few hands I like this cre creepy hand right here it's like the claw hand I thought that's really cool so let's see he can move his arms out like that bend at the elbow not very much put his hands down that's pretty much all you can do with the character um, with this animated series line I kind of just want to keep them as statues almost so you can pose them the way you want and then just leave them on the shelf they're not really made to play with um, I think the quality is in the design mostly but I do wish they made his feet a little more stronger I would have liked it if they didn't give him ball joints in the feet. But overall, they give you a stand, which is pretty cool. Right here. And it's really cool because it's the design of him from the animated series. And this is the bottom of the stand. And it comes with a clear little stand that goes in there. And I will be keeping him on this stand which is really cool it's kind of like a little neat little art piece I like so that was really cool that they gave you that they give you another accessory this is also from Matt as a Hatter episode when he's controlling speaker right here the microphone and all the controls so when he builds a little labyrinth he's taking on Batman 
These are all the little hands you get. And the closed fist. And another claw hand. So that's all the accessories you get. You get a pretty hefty accessories. I think I finally found like a good position where to stand him. Uh, one leg seems longer than the other or his ball joint kind of holds him back. But I think I finally found a good position. It's the left foot I put behind the right foot so that he can stand pretty properly. Because other than that, he topples over. Like he just wants to fall over right now. There we go. I think he's a really cool character. Uh, he's out there. He is insane. Uh, they pay homage to Alice in Wonderland storyline a lot. And I just really think he's a unique character. Um, one of those like C-listers from the Batman Rogues Gallery. But he is used a lot in the comic series as well. So I think this is a really cool character. Um, he could use a better stand and maybe stronger feet in the ankles. But I think he's a very nice addition to my collection. And I can't wait to get more of these animated characters. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for another episode of the Pop Cult Layer. Thank you and peace out. Oh, still waters run deep, my dear. It's always been my philosophy that people should take what they want from life.